Today I'm bringing you something that I feel anyway is fascinating. Research into an overlooked vaccine that might actually help prevent dementia. And you've got to find that intriguing, right? I'm an NHS GP who likes to keep up to date with the latest research and this new data really caught my eye. Because let's be honest, most of us feel a jolt of fear when we think about dementia. That slow, cruel loss of identity, of memories, of the people we love. And it can really seem like there's not much we can do about it. The science is slow, so we just end up hoping for the best. But what if there was a vaccine already? One that's been quietly sitting there, one you or your loved one might have already had. That could reduce your risk of dementia by up to 20%. The science is still unfolding, but the early signals are surprisingly quite promising. So today I'm diving into three big questions. What is this vaccine? What is the evidence? And how on earth could it help protect your brain? So the vaccine I'm talking about today is the shingles vaccine. Yep, now I know that might not sound like the secret weapon in the fight against dementia, but bear with me and hold that thought because the interesting part is in how it might be doing it. And I'm gonna come back to that in just a moment. But first, a quick recap, just in case you're not familiar. Shingles is caused by the same virus that gives you chickenpox as a child, varicella zoster. After you recover, the virus lies dormant and can reactivate later in life, usually in older adults, causing shingles, which looks like this. It's painful, it lingers, and in some cases, it can actually cause long-term damage. Now, in the UK, we routinely offer the shingles vaccine to people in their 70s as part of our national vaccination program, or in your 50s if you have a weakened immune system. Now, the newer version, Shingrix, is particularly effective and it's given to people at a higher risk of developing shingles. It's all part of the NHS's long-term plan to not just prevent the nasty symptoms that shingles can cause in people, but also the potential long-term complications like post-herpetic neuralgia. Now, nobody made this vaccine or expected this vaccine to have anything to do with dementia, but as it turns out, that is exactly what some recent research is starting to suggest. Now, an idea that a vaccine might potentially protect your brain in this way sounds a bit wild, right? But once you start looking, a pattern starts to emerge. In this study from a few years ago, researchers in the UK looked at the health records of over 228,000 people. They compared those who had received the shingles vaccine to those who hadn't. What they found was that the people who got the vaccine were 20% less likely to be diagnosed with dementia. Interesting. But maybe that's just a one-off fluke. Now fast forward to 2024 where researchers looked at a large number of records of people between the ages of 65 and 75. They checked who had received the shingles vaccine and who hadn't. And then they analyzed these records to see who developed Alzheimer's disease. Similar result, people who got the shingles vaccine were 15 to 21% less likely to develop Alzheimer's. And here's another up-to-date, slightly different one, where researchers compared two shingles vaccines, an old one and a newer recombinant one. The results? The newer vaccine seemed to lower the risk of dementia 17% more than the old one, and here's another where people who had the vaccine performed better on cognitive tests. And another, and another. Different studies, different methods, different times, different locations, but the same message keeps bubbling up. This shingles vaccine might be doing more than we thought. But before we go slapping that on NHS posters around the country, let's slow down because studies like this can be a little bit slippery. They're observational, which means there are a few important caveats we need to know about. Because here's the thing, none of these studies actually prove causation because they're all observational. That means they looked at people who happened to get the vaccine and then tracked whether they later developed dementia rather than randomly giving different groups and categories of people the vaccine and following them up. So there is always the risk of confounding. This is where something in the background might be quietly affecting the outcome. For example, the people who chose to get the vaccine might just be more health conscious. Maybe they eat better, maybe they exercise more, maybe they see their GP regularly. 
And could it be those habits, rather than the vaccine, that's lowering their risk of dementia? But that being said, the researchers, in fairness, did try to control for a whole load of variables. Age, sex, other health problems, socioeconomic status. And they did a great job, but no study can adjust for everything. Now, all that being said, the results are surprisingly consistent, which makes it harder and harder to write this off as some kind of fluke or statistical quirk. So while we can't be certain that it definitely prevents dementia, the possibility is very real. And if it walks like a duck and talks like a duck, then maybe it's a duck. But it's got to make sense too, right? How could a vaccine that prevents you getting a viral rash also lower the chances of dementia? Something seemingly unrelated. Well, there are two big theories, and to be clear, they are just theories. But the first one is to do with something a little spooky about shingles itself. After you've had chickenpox, the virus, varicella zoster, it doesn't leave your body. It goes to sleep inside your nervous system, literally hiding out in the nerve roots near your spine and your brain. And decades later, it can wake up and it doesn't just pop up anywhere. It can follow a nerve. And that's why the rash is usually in a stripe and why it can be so painful. The virus is already in the nervous system and when it reactivates, it causes inflammation, not just in the skin, but sometimes in the nerve and brain too. And chronic inflammation, especially in the brain, is something that's increasingly being linked to Alzheimer's disease. So that theory is that if you prevent that inflammation from happening, you protect the brain and that prevents you from getting dementia. But there's a very interesting deeper layer too. Some researchers believe the herpes virus, including this one and even HSV1, which is the one that causes cold sores, might play a more direct role in the development of Alzheimer's itself. It's early days, but there's some growing research that these viruses themselves might be directly triggering changes in the brain. Of course, we don't have proof that this is cause and effect. So I'm not saying the shingles jab definitely prevents dementia or the virus definitely causes it, but it does raise the fascinating possibility that halting this virus in its tracks might protect your brain long-term. And here's an interesting point about research in general because the opposite can be true. And there's one in particular that comes to mind, a drug that's taken by over 8 million people in the UK. One of the most controversial drugs out there, but so, so popular, and there's a research heading that might catch your interest. Have a look at it here. It's not exactly what it says on the tin. If you've got a moment, pop over there and have a look. But thank you very much for watching and hopefully I'll see you again soon.